Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Chris, this is the Salty Trips channel, and today we're gonna to talk about tire safety. Some of the products that we have bought that are gonna help you to fill and monitor your tires as you tow your big rig along the road, and we're gonna tell you about the things that we bought that was a waste of money, so stick around, check it out. First off guys, we're gonna talk about tires, tire safety. When you're towing a big rig, you wanna make sure that your tires are properly inflated, underinflated, they'll wear improperly, overinflated, same thing, they could you know, blow up on you. And the last thing you need towing a big fifth wheel or travel trailer is a tire going out on you. So there's two things you really need. You gotta be able to fill it and you wanna be able to monitor how those things are when you're driving down the road. First things first is we went ahead and bought a small compressor. Um, and we're thinking, okay, we're just going to be using this thing to top off our, our tires and it, we don't need a, a huge compressor. So we went on Amazon and we got this little compressor for like, I think $70. I'll put a picture of it up here. We started to, uh, I was filling my tires in my truck. They came from uh, Ford at about 55, 60 PSI. And they are rated for up to 80 PSI, especially for holding, holding a big load. The fifth wheel up here. You know, that's a lot, that's like 2000 pounds of tongue weight on there. So we wanna make sure that our tires are filled properly. So I wanted to get the tire pressure up to about 70, 75 PSI. And these things are rated up to 80 PSI. I hooked that thing up and I let it run and it took about 15 minutes for it to go from just 55 PSI to 65 PSI. And come to find out when you read on the instruction manual, you're only supposed to run that thing continuously for like 10 minutes. It was probably, it was getting really hot. And then after you, you shut it down, you're supposed to let it cool for 25 minutes. I got four tires on here, four tires on the fifth wheel. If you add that up, if you let it, you know, run for 10, 15 minutes and then let it cool for 25, like it says, it's going to take you four, about four hours to fill up all your tires and just, just topping them off. It's not filling up from scratch. I would stay away from, uh, some of those cheaper products. So then we, you know, I wound up giving that one to my stepfather so he could fill his uh, tires on his, his uh, little lawnmower tractor and stuff like that. So we went out and we spent the extra money and we got a uh, Vier. This is the 3000P. They have some that are a little higher rated and stuff. This thing can run for 30 minutes straight. It puts out more PSI. So we're going to find out exactly how fast we can uh, top off one of these tires and see if it's a big improvement. It's almost twice the cost. Let's see if it does twice the job. And then after that, we're going to talk about tire monitoring system, what we decided to get, why we decided to get it, and we're going to go over that quick install and show you more about it. All right, first thing we're going to do is uh, talk a little bit about this Viair compressor. It runs off 12 volts, so it runs off your, your truck battery, and if you have a 12-volt system on your RV, you can hook it up to that too. It has like a, about an 8 to 10-foot uh, power cable here, and then you have about a 20-foot uh, air hose he here with a with a gauge and everything. So you can just stick it straight on your tire and you can monitor it. Uh, so it should give you about a 30 foot range. So you should be able to plug it in and get around all, your whole vehicle. Or if you're in your RV, you can uh, just hook it up to your battery down there and you should be able to get to your tires on each side fairly easily. Or if you have your truck pulled up close, you can hook it to your truck. And it does say, recommend that you leave your truck running while this is going. It doesn't suck your battery down too hard, I guess. But we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna fill up that tire and see how it does. And right now it says it's reading 50 PSI. And so we're gonna crank this up to 70 PSI. And we're gonna run the front tire 70 PSI and the back tires 75 PSI because it carries more of the load in the back. And I'm going to time this um, as we go and see how long it takes to fill. All right, so there you have it. Two minutes and 12 seconds to, uh, to fill it up to 70 PSI. And it took that other compressor almost 15 minutes just to get to 65 PSI on the rear tires. So that's pretty incredible. Um, don't waste your money. Don't go cheap. Uh, I highly recommend the Viair. Uh, I did a lot of research, you know, watched a lot of videos, asked a lot of people before I decided to get this thing. So if you want to get one, of course, you know, I'll leave it in the description area below. 
but I don't know, the proof is in the pudding. That was pretty quick. So we're gonna fill up the rest of these tires. And like I said before, they say you should leave your truck running when uh, you got this uh, compressor running so it doesn't drain your battery. But I forgot to do so because, uh, well, I didn't really meet, forget to do so. I did it on purpose, at least that first one, because you can hardly hear it because I, I do have a little bit of a exhaust. But we'll top these off and uh, get them done. All right, guys, we have the PSI, the front set for 74 and the back for 79. And don't forget, too, when you're filling these things, when air compresses, it heats up. And then when it cools down, that's when you'll get your true reading, your cold air reading. So these may lose a PSI or two once they cool down, but uh, usually it's not that much, especially, if, well, if you're filling from zero all the way up, you're gonna, of course, it's gonna heat up more and drop more as it cools down. But just going like 10 PSI, you're not gonna get a huge drop. But just take that in consideration, double check it again uh, a little later after the tire cools down. And if you're not sure where to check it, to see what your, your tire pressure should be. Um, where is it at? Uh, oh, here it is. Right in here. It says 80 PSI uh, cold. Read 80 PSI fully cold. That's a, at max working load is 80 PSI cold. So it will heat up as the tires run down the road. So you gotta just take that into consideration. And I just like to run a little bit under just so I don't run at max. Topped off all four tires in about 10 minutes. And this thing is a little warm. So when you go to store it, just let it sit out for a little while. Don't put it back in your RV or or inside like the, the truck somewhere where there's other stuff because it could melt things. It, it gets a little hot. So just kind of leave it out for about you know 20 minutes or so and let it cool down and then put it away. All right, guys, to sum up the air compressor portion here, I would highly recommend don't go cheap. Um, there's some other quality compressors out there, but Viair has a outstanding reputation and quality. And if you want to get it, it's down in the description area below. And hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that fancy mess. Give this video a big thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. So, uh, you know, you can follow all our adventures and find out if this thing holds out and we'll keep you updated. So we're gonna move on to tire pressure systems. All right, guys, now we're gonna talk about the tire monitoring pressure system. We're gonna discuss what we got, we're gonna get it installed, get it up and running, and then we're gonna to explain to you why we got it, and that's kind of an important part. But first, we'll let you know what we decided to go with. We decided to get the TST 770 monitor, and the, this is the only thing that we actually had to purchase, because when we bought this fifth wheel rig, it came with the TST tire monitors on the tires already, but it didn't come with the actual monitor for it inside the truck. They must have kept it or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, so we were thinking, well, might as well just stick with the same thing. And we started doing some research and I wanted to make sure that we were getting the right product. But uh, we'll go over that a little more later. This thing right here, it's got the color, color monitor and it's got the touch screen, which is the old model, I think is the, the 507. And it's, I don't think it is color and it's not touchscreen. You have a little buttons and what I understand, this is a little more expensive, but it's a little more intuitive and easier to use. It is a little bit bigger too. takes up a little more window room, but it's kind of cool because it has this. It's just a magnet to hold it in place. And you can plug this in or you can just kind of leave it. You can charge it and I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but we'll update you as we go. But I'm sure for like a couple hour trip, you can probably just let it run and not even plug it in. I would assume it's it's it seems pretty heavy duty, so it's probably got a decent sized battery in it, but this thing is supposed to be pretty reliable and have really good connectivity. So I don't know how old those batteries are, so the first thing we're gonna do is replace the batteries and we're gonna sync it up and get this thing rolling. And these batteries are the CR2032s, in case you're interested. And all right, all we have to do to connect uh, that sensor to this is go to automatic code learning. Just hit that button and it says uh, power unit, T1, T2, so forth. And the power unit would be your tow vehicle, which would be this. And the, the, the T1, T2 is trailer one, trailer two, whichever, um, how many, you can do multiple trailers on here. So we're just gonna go to T1, trailer one. And then it's gonna have you, it's gonna have six tires on here. And this one in the back would be considered the spare. So we are gonna start with this tire right here on this side. And we're gonna, it'll start blinking 
and you'll tell it to learn. When you tell it to learn, there's this little Wi-Fi symbol on here, and you just push, touch that Wi-Fi signal to the, the sensor, and it should learn it. We'll hit learn. Oh, it says rescan. All right, guys. Like I was saying before, YouTubers, go through these problems so you guys don't have to. I tried to sync these up, and this one wouldn't sync. So I had to call, and uh, you know, like I said, these are older. This is brand new. But I called and got a hold of the technicians over there at TST, and they were saying that, you know, even though these batteries came in a brand new pack, sometimes the batteries are dead. So uh, I swapped out a couple more batteries, and finally uh, got one to sync up. Um, so this is the next one. We'll see if we can't get this one to sync up. Rescan. There we go. That works. All right, so we replaced the battery in this one. Hit that tire. That's the driver's side rear. There you go. Exit and save. And it's probably best if you uh, mark these. If you, if you take them off, probably mark them. I have them set in the order they're supposed to go back in. So I'll probably go put them in one at a time so I can't mess this up. All right, guys. All of them are hooked up. And uh, this one's reading 62. That one's reading 59. And it cycles through. It just blinks which tire it's on and it'll tell you the temperature and the pressure. And it just cycles through. It doesn't show a readout of all of them at the same time. That's the one thing that kind of stinks. These are a little low. Luckily we have that uh, Via Air compressor and we're gonna pump these things up to um, about 75 PSI. Cause that's, they should, max is at 80, but I'm gonna run them about 75. I don't like to run them quite at max. That's personal preference, I guess. All hooked up, we're ready to go. All set up. And one of the things I really liked about uh, this particular one too, it has a magnetic mount. So you can just slap it up there. You can you know, move it anywhere and it runs off a battery. So you don't have to leave it plugged in if you don't need to. And you can pull it off and take it with you, carry it around while you're inflating the tires, whatever. But I hope you found this useful. We'll leave uh, links for this one in the description area below. And the, one of the main reasons why we decided to go with the TST is because we didn't want to get to the same situation we did with the air compressor. We bought an air compressor that we were not happy with, that would not do the job. And I, we watched many, many videos and read many, many reviews on a lot of the other ones where they had connectivity problems. And from what I hear and what I've read, these things have a very good connectivity success. So like I said, if you're interested in any of these products, you know, they're linked in the description area below. And I hope you guys enjoyed and got something out of this and learned something. That's why, you know, we do this and share with you guys. So hopefully we'll go through the mistakes so you don't have to, and uh, maybe save you some money in the long run. Basically wound up costing me an extra $70 for uh, the air compressor that I didn't need to spend. And I'm pretty happy with this one. And I think I want to be very happy with this tire sensor monitor. Appreciate you guys coming along and comment below. What tire sensors do you use? What compressor do you use? How about others? G give the good, bad, the uglies. And uh, hope we see you guys next week. Bye.